Okay, sir. Now today the program. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, uh, sir, after you finish, uh, yeah. like after we finish the class, we go over the all the numerical. Can you send me the recording of the class, please? Okay. Okay. I get. I get. Uh, send to uh, Doctor Usman, and then then yes. to you. Okay. Okay. No problem, sir. Okay. Let's start with the uh, probability chapter number two. So chapter number two, we will go to the numerical part. Basically, this part is axioms and interpolation and properties of probability. Just I will summarize all these things. So what are basically axioms and what are this, and then uh, go to the uh, numerical part and just uh, yes, go to the yes. Where are the examples? Yes, example two point eleven. This is the first example. So it starts with consider tossing a, a thumbtack in the air. Okay. So when it comes to rest on the ground, either its uh, point will be up, that is uh, the outcome U, or or down, that it it uh, outcome will be D. The same space for this event is therefore u comma d so this yes mean, this means that uh, there's a toss there's a coin basically so there's a up can we mean that up means that uh, outcome outcome is u and there's a uh, there's a down that is outcome is d so there is only two probabilities for this one so the exam spec uh, specify ts that is probability of my state function or a simple space okay so ps again is the is it is known as I, I was right as it is known as probability of probability of what probability of simple space simple space simple space So this is known as probability of simple space, which is equals to what? What does this mean? This means that either my result is is u or d. So for this case, my axiom specify that p s that is my probability simple space for this equation equals to one. Is it clear, sir? Yes. Because there is only one probability. Either it will be the up u or down. So the probability assignment. Will completely be determined by P U that is probability of my up and probability of my down. So, since U and D are disjoint, disjoint means when there is U there will be no D, and when there is D there will be no U. This is known as disjoint set, and their union. So is one natural. of them will happen, but the other will not. Yes, yes, yes. One. So this means that their union union means union in S that is the sample space. So it will be. One equals to as I know that one equals to P S P S as we know that this one, so it will be one equals to probability of my sample space, and as this is disjoint, so disjoint means there is no common between them, so we have to take their union. So union will be this one that it will be P U union means sum, okay, and P probability of D. Is it clear then? Yes, sir. Any any question till now? No, sir. Oh, okay. Now the next example is that it follows that P D equals to that probability of D equals to one minus P of Q. So one possible assignment of probability is P U, which is equals to point five, and P D equals to point five. This means that this means that this is the continuity of the same example that there's a coin. Okay, there's a up and the down here. Basically, I identify there is down. So there's the pro total probability is one. Okay, so the probability of up will be zero point five, and probability of down will be zero point five, and the probability of my sample space. It is basically P U plus 
PD. So as we know that PU equals to 0 0.5, PD is 0 0.5. So my answer of probability squared equals to one. one. Yes. So whereas the other possible, possible arrangement, this is the possible arrangement that PU is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, okay? Now the next arrangement is like, it will be PU equals to 0 0.7, point, uh, sorry, point 0 0.75, and second is the 0 0.25. So as we know that 0 0.75 and 0 0.25 equals to zero. So in fact, letter P, letter P reflects any fixed number between, this basically P reflects between any number between zero to one. Okay, so my, so my this number P probability of U as I uh, have P, yes P probability of U will be U will be that is probability of my up will be equals to P and so I, I I put this value here so this will be equals to then it will be equals to P probability of down will be equals to one minus small P. So in this way, uh, we we arrange in the exam basically exam notification, which basically consists of what domain will be zero to one. Now moving towards the next one, uh, example two point one two. Consider the testing batteries coming off an assembly line one by one until one having a voltage within prescribed limit is found. Okay, yes. <clears throat> now we have to consider that uh, the there is a testing batteries coming off an assembly line. Assembly line means that there's a plant and this plant is manufacturing the bat uh, batteries, okay? So one by one and having a voltage within the prescribed limit. The simple events are that is E1, okay. So E1 equals to S and E2 equals to FS, E3 equals to FFS and E4 equals to FFS. Suppose the probability of a particular battery being satisfied is 0 0.999. So this means that there is the total probability equals to one that is the complete and the satisfied probability equals to 0 0.9. So it will be basically 0 0.9, 0 0.99. We have noticed it, okay? So what to do? So probability of what? Probability of S will be what? Then as this is basically probability of satisfy equals to, this S means probability of satisfy, okay? It will be equals to 0 0.99. So E, one of S will be equals to what? It will be equals to probability of satisfied, which will be equals to 0 0.99. Then, is it clear? So each probability of S equals to 0 0.99. Uh -huh, yes, yes, because it is given. Because it is given that probability of satisfy basically is is point nine. Okay, so what is the f? What is the f? F is f means fail. That is not basically no, success and fail. Yes, success and fail. Now then, what is the probability of f? So first, I have to write here then that the total probability that I total probability of the system of sample space is always one. And probability of satisfy uh, this is sample space uh, bigger s and this is satisfy this this one probability of no I have, probability of satisfy is 0 0.99 so this means that probability of fail will be what one minus mm -hmm. zero point nine nine so this will be what it will be point point one. Point one approximately. Okay. Point, yes, point zero one. Okay. 
so point zero, zero one. point zero one so this will be my second probability will be what it will be it will be basically e2 will be equals to f f is basically point zero one with the probability of satisfy that is zero point Nine nine. nine nine okay same in the case of e3 then it will be probability of f that is 0 0.1 0 0.01 multiplied 1, 1. 0 0.01 so 0 0.0 i have to raise it just give me one second. 0 0.01 square yes 0 0.01 square with the value of s that is 0 0.99 mm. for this it will be equal to 0. Point Zero one zero cube, cube with the s value that is zero point nine nine. So after this, by using calculator, we can find that the values approximate values. Okay. So this is all about this is all about now <coughs> p one, p two, and p three. So here it is that probability of probability of 3 will be equals to p e3 equals to 0 0.01 whole square into 0 0.99 is an assignment of probabilities to the sample sample elements that satisfy the exam in particular in a particular uh, because the eis what is eis are disjoint set that e1 is the union of e2 E3 and so on. What's the, what does this mean? This means that my probability of a system, this basically the first E1. E1 is a system which basically only contains the, the S that is satisfied. E2 contains one F and one S, which is basically this set is is not equal to this one as like e1 is not equal to this one so my total probability is is equal to this one e1 plus e2 plus e3 and plus so on okay so this will be the probability of whole simple sample space so it will be equal to one as i described earlier probability of sample space equals to p of ei plus p of e2 plus e of e3 as i will write here all equal to one Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. I have to write here that E of S, that is probability of sample space. This is not satisfy. Okay, then this is basically probability of sample space. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Is equal to basically one, and which will be equals to probability of P1. Plus probability of what? Probability of E2 plus probability of E3, E4, E5, and so on. So, what will be the value basically 0 0.99 is constant. And the, as I see, see that there it is 0 0.09, 0 0.09, uh, point, point, sorry, 0 0.99 here. So, I will take common point. 9, 9 then e1 there is no other parameter so it will be 1 plus in a2 there is 0 0.01 so it will be 0 0.01 now in e3 it is 0 0.01 square so it will be 0 0.01 square in e4 it will be point 0, 1 cube in other it, is, it will be 0 0.01 power 4 and so on then after this we can find the value of p as for the whole system okay so is it clear then any question so sir the yes. probability of the of a sample space should always equal to one yes always always equal to one Okay, and the and the formula below, sir, what was it? Oh, is this one? No, no, down. Down, down. This is the other other example. Any question till okay. this example? Is it clear? Everything is clear. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is the formula of geometric series. 
as you know that there are two type of series you know that there are arithmetic there are basically three types of series then series basically series are of three types in mathematics any idea then hmm. any idea about series in series. mathematics mm, not quite sure sir first is my arithmetic series arithmetic series Second is my geometric series. Geometric series. And third is my harmonic series. These are basically sequences. Okay, so please remember it. Please. Okay, then? Yes, sir. Okay. This is my, this is my, what, this is my uh, geometric series as this is given. My mouse is not working. Sorry, then. Give me one second. It is not working. Give me one second, please. Mm -hmm. Not okay. Then my my anode is not working. Okay, that's what. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the geometric series. Then, so uh, here we have used the formula of geometric series, where a plus a r plus a r square plus a r cube equals to infinity, and it will be a upon one minus r. However, another uh, legitimate according to axiom probability assignment for the same is according to this one. This one, take over. Okay. Now moving towards the next one. Yes. So this means that this is the simple example. Then, in this, he only defines that uh, the geometric series basically is, is the type obtained by replacing point zero one with another number p between zero to one. That is what we have done in this. It is saying that there is a, okay, a is what? 0 0.99. Then r, r is what? 0 0.01. Then this will be r, r square, r cube, and this will increase like this one. So this basically, which is, which is here, this basically is, is uh, uh, elaborated by, uh, by this formula that my geometric series is basically the modified form of this one. Is it clear then? Any question? So yes. the, first, the first thing, the arithmetic series. First is arithmetic series then. There are three types of series. Arithmetic series, geometric series, and harmonic series. Okay. So okay. this is basically about the series and probability this uh, you can you can learn in, in this course so uh, this is basically the geometric series okay geometric series is the series basically which is known as power series which is just like that here that it is 0 0.01 then 0 0.01 square cube and then this will travel that so this type of which is which is at the end of the slide number 10 is generally known as the uh, my arithmetic series, uh, geometric series function. Okay, then. Yes. Okay. Then give me one minute. My anode is not working, so I have to stop share and then then after I I, I will share it again. Just give me one second. Stop okay. share and then I have to share it again. 
yes. Uh, okay. Hopefully, yes. Now it's working. Uh, sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, sir, for uh, for this course, yes, we'll, uh, we will take only arithmetic series. No Zen, no Zen, no Zen. Basically, this is the journal form. This is the journal. Basically, series is the complete uh, mathematical course. It is basically just. Uh, I don't know uh, in which degree you are you are enrolled, mechanical or electrical. What sir? Zen, what is your degree basically? What you are doing? Which degree? Uh, you are? Electrical. Electrical. Okay, okay. Elect in electrical, basically series are the are are the very important part of the math. You learn. You will. You will learn four different math. Math one, math two, math three, and math four. First math will be your calculus, then probability, then series and the functions. And then after you have to elaborate just like histogram, then these these things. So these this is basically your complete course series. Okay, being a being an engineer, you must have to know about arithmetic series, geometric series, and harmonic series. Okay, it's it 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 is not uh, the duty of the university to to basically feed you or, or spawn feed you. So it's all about you that you will outsource it. And search what is basically the difference between harmonic and all these things. Okay, then now moving towards the next yeah. example. What is this? Is there any example in this? Okay, two point one three then. So what to do in two point one three? Uh. Okay, two point one three. Consider <clears throat> a system of five identical components connected in series. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Denote a component that fails by f. That then it says that if it fails, if it fails, fails, you have to denote with f. Okay, so this is for fail, and for the success, for success, you have to uh, donate as s. Let a be the event that has the system fails. For example, there's a a which has system fails. For a to occur, at least, for a to occur, at least, give me one sec, at least. Uh, one of the individual components must fail. So, what does this mean? This means that for for a, just for a, there must be one fail. It is the basic condition that for a to occur, at least one of the individual components must fail. So, as we know that there are how many systems? There are five systems: one, two, three, four, and five. So, for five of them. There must be a fail for a, for for a particular system. Okay. Now outcomes in A include this must might be include that it might have S S F S S. This means that only one fail, which is at three. Okay. So this means what? This means that one, two, four, five are working. That is success, and three don't working, which is the fail. And F F S S S and so on and these are basically the parameters. So there are there are in fact thirty one different outcomes in A. However, okay, how many thirty one different outcomes can be found from this one? However, A dash the events that the success consists of a single outcome S S S S S. So, what does this mean? How to basically uh compare all these values so first thing to do that oh yes first thing to do that we have to find the probability of a dash so probability of a dash consists of what that it, the outcomes are s s s s s five times s so it will be s s s 
s 1 2 3 4 and 5 s okay so it will be as we know that it will be equals to 0 0.99 so it will be 0 0.99 and power of what it will be power of 5 so 0 0.99 power 5 my answer is 0 0.59 Okay, so what is the basically means that what is what is 0 0.59? How to how to basically elaborate that? Uh, what is the common difference between this? But we are finding that there is only only what on there is on uh, a chance of one f that there are five five probabilities, uh, and out of which there is there is a uh, there is a basically one f so first we have to find the probability of complete just give me one second this will be the probability of probability of a dash will be which will be basically s s s s and s which means that there is no fail so the answer of this one is equals to what this will be equals to uh, 0 0.5 then any question till now? Is there any difficulty? Um, no, sir. Okay. So for to find the probability of one F, we have to find the probability of complete one that the probability of success for five consecutive events, one, two, three, four, five is equals to 0 0.59. So for this system, we can also find the probability of A which will be equals to what which will be equals to the probability of the total that equals to always equals to 1 minus 0 0.59 so probability of a is approximately equals to 0 0.41 and roughly this one. yes yes uh, this uh, 0 0.59 what is it Okay, 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 sir. Okay. As we know that in, in the previous section that probability of uh, in section 2.5 that the probability of success for all the events equals to 0 90 percent, which will be equals to 0 0.99 as I calculated before. Is it clear? Probability of success yeah. for the previous. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, we have, first we have to find the probability of complete that there are five five basically steps or five systems and five are basically mutually success. So S, 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 S and S, five times S. As we know that probability for one S equals to what? 0 0.9, approximately 0 0.9. And there is how many S? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0 0.9 oh. power 5. Okay. So it will be yes. 0 0.59. Now, uh, this is the probability of all success. Now I have find that the probability of A dash, A dash is equal to what 0 0.59. As we know that probability of A, this is the formula for probability of A equals to one minus probability of A dash. So what is the meaning of A dash and what is the meaning of meaning of a first we have to know it okay probability of a basically means that there is a some there is uh, there is some failure so it means that there is only or one fail in my system okay this f this a dash means that there is no there is all success all success or known as all successfully uh, events okay so one minus p a dash so it will be one minus p a dash will be 0 0.59 0 0.59 so it will be then 0 0.41 which will be approximately equal to 41 this is how we find the value. Okay. Moving towards the next example.
Where is the next one? Two point one five. Okay. During off-peak hours, a commuter train has five cars. Suppose a commuter is twice as likely to select the middle car. Middle car is what? Middle car is three. So this is elaborated as middle car is three. As to select either adjacent car two or A, and it is twice as likely to select either adjacent car to was select either car one or five. Okay, now this is the interesting one. Then in this question, basically, it says that we have to suppose a commuter. Is twice as likely to select the middle. Middle means that if three is the middle, so there will be one, two, three, four, five. There is mutual events are what five mutual mutual events. Five mutual events. So it will be, it will be, this one middle one. So there will be the adjacent. How what is the adjacent two? And four, and twice as likely to select will be one and five. So twice likely means one and two. So yes. One and five for this. So this is the setup for my for my numerical for my system. Okay. Yes. So is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Then give me give me uh, three minutes, please. Okay. Uh, okay. You also take some water, and I, I am coming again. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay.
Okay. Hello and assalamu alaikum sir. Hello. Yes sir, sir. Okay, okay. Let's get started. Okay. So this means that there are five events and we have to choose the uh, only middle one. So how to let we have then let it let it let for one that uh, let us say that I have to pick P I. So what is I basically that is car I is selected car I is what it doesn't know car I is selected is selected. We have to find the probability of P E I event I. Okay. So this means that now there are three major things to do that P3. So P3, what is P3 and what is P2 and, and how things are, are going. So, so uh, it will be, it will be what it will be equals to P3 equals to two times of P2, which will basically that select the middle car, middle car as to select either adjacent car two or four. So it will be two P2 equals to two P4. How we find it as we know that P2 equals to what the probability of P2 will be equals to P3 upon P2 half and P4 equals to the probability of P3 divided by two. From there, I have to multiply this two with this one again with this one. So my P3 for both of for this for this equation it is equals to P3 equals to two P2 and my P3 for this equation will be equals to two P4. So there are this is the uh, major thing that P3 equals to two P2. And it is equals to 2p4. 2p4. So now what is p2? How to find the value of p2? Now there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what is the probability of this one? So probability of p2 will be equals to as I uh, it will write written as p1 will be equals to what? p2 divided by 2 and the second one for p basically p5 p5 will be also equals to p2 divided by 2 so my p1 p2 will be equals to for this equation it will be equals to 2p1 and p2 for this equation will be equals to 2p5 2p5 this one and this one as there is another thing that there is adjacent so this p2 that this one one two three four five so the adjacent one is this which one this is two and four so my p2 is directly equals to p4 so this is the way that i summarize my all points the value of p1 p2 and p3 respectively okay so now moving towards my uh, probability of the complete uh, complete events or basically known as probability of sample space now what to do or how we can basically find the value for this system so for this uh, this will be equals to, I have to remove all of this. This will be equals to summation of probability of events EI, EI, which will be equals to what one? And it will be equals to P1, the value of P1 equals to P1. Now the value of P2, so P2 equals to 2P1. So it will be plus 2P1. So what will be the value of P3? P3 value is 
p3 value so p3 value is this one it is basically equals to 2 p2 okay so as we know that p3 equals to 2 p2 so p3 will be 2 multiply by p2 is is what p2 is basically 2 p1 so it will be 2 p1 so my answer will be what 4 p1 so it will be p3 equals to 4 p1 plus what is p3 p3 is also uh yes p3 equals to 2 p4 sorry uh, uh, this is p3 now i have to find the value of p4 so my p4 equals to what p2 and p2 equals to p1 so it will be equals to 2 p1 and my last one is p5 so i have to 2 p1 equals to 2 p5 this p and this p will cancel so p5 equals to p1 so it will be equals to p1 so my answer for this one p1 plus 2 p2 plus 4 p1 plus again plus uh 2 p1 plus p1 so i have to add all of this so it will be equal to 10 p sorry it's 10 p1 again elaborating that summation of all the probabilities with with the mutual event e having having a certain number i okay so this will be equals to p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 and plus p5 now i have to write all these values with respect to p1 okay so it will be what p p1 plus 2 p1 plus 4 p1 then again 2 p1 and then p1 respectively and my answer for this equals to 10 p1 okay so the the probability that one of the three middle car is selected one of the three middle car is selected so what are the probability for this one so this is basically p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 now i have to write all the values now the value of p1 is p1 now p2 value is 2 p1 p3 value is 4 p1 p4 value is 2 p1 and p5 value is p1 so i have to find the probability of the three middle cars so it will be the compound event so comp in, so in in the compound event we have to add add all the values so it, it will be probability of p2 plus p3 plus p4 so it will be 2p1 plus 4p1 plus 2p1 so this answer will be 8p1 so it will be written as 8 okay so the compound event for the car to be selected middle car to be selected is 8 okay now moving towards the next one next example is Which one? Yes, two point one six. You have six unread, mysterious uh, mysteries on your bookshelves and six unread science fiction book. Okay, so the the system have total how many? Six unread mysteries and six unread fiction books. So total is twelve. you have to remember it okay the first three of each type are hard cover 
and the last three are paper cover. Oh yes. So the first three are hard cover and the last three are paper cover. So you have to elaborate with, with this one too, that you have to counter that the first three are my uh, hard cover. Hard cover means that it, it may have, uh, 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 it may consist of a board, okay? And the paper cover is the simple paper cover. Now, moving towards the next one. Consider randomly selecting one of the six mysteries and then randomly selecting one of the six science fiction books to take on a post finals vacation to Akampala. After all, you need something to read on the beach. Okay, so this is the problem statement for my equation. Okay. So number, the mysteries are one to two. That is, a, a total numbers are one from six. So, so it will be one comma two comma three comma four comma five and comma six and do as for the sections uh, fiction books so it will be one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six okay now the each outcome is a pair of numbers such as okay now First uh, station and the second. So each outcome is a pair of a number such as four, one, and there are n equals to 36 possible outcomes. For a visual of this, uh, this system refer, now I am referring this, okay? So there are basically six different possibilities that it will be zero, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, then again, the second, this is first station means what is, it may be for my case is the mysterious book. And for this one, it may be fiction book, science fiction book. Okay, so it starts from zero to six. Okay, zero to six for the both, both values. So first value will how to write it? No, so you have to, Multi this and this, so it will be zero one zero sorry zero zero. Second, it is zero one. Third, it is zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, and zero six respectively. Same for one zero and this one. So the number of total outcomes for this system is how much? Thirty six. Okay. The first thing is that you have to make such table. And after this, you have to elaborate that the total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes equals to how much it is equal to 36. Okay. Now, moving towards with random selection as discussed, the 36 outcomes are e equally likely. Okay, so nine of these outcomes are such that both selected books are paper books. So there is there those in lower right hand cover or the refer table four, 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 five, and four, six. Okay, so the probability of the event A that both selected books are paper books. Oh, yes. So it will be, it will be uh, nine upon 36. Okay, so nine upon 36, it will be written as probability of A. Probability of A will be N upon A divided by N. Number of events that is occurring for A is, is what is, it is basically nine divided by total that is 36. So nine divided by 36. So my answer will be 0 0.25. Okay. Now.
okay so this is the end of this this lecture then uh then any question from uh from this slide then any question from this slide hello then hello hello are you listening me hello then hello hello yes sir. yes yes so i have completed the lecture number 1 so this is basically the the last slide i uh, i completed for for lecture number 1 so this will be the end of the, this this uh, slide so i will be opening the next next slide so be with me please okay 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 then. okay just give me one minute to open it okay so where are the next slides so it will be chapter 2 this is also chapter 2 Okay, chapter two three. Yes, it will be the next one. Chapter two three. Okay, yes, this one. Okay. Okay then. So this is the this is the next next basically the uh, the probably uh, slide number chapter two and three basically. Okay, so it is. counting techniques okay so when the variable various outcomes of an experiment are equally likely so the task of computing probability is reduces to counting so let us say that letter n denotes the number of outcomes in a sample space represents the number of outcome outcome uh, contained in an event a so p of a equals to n a upon n Now moving towards the numerical of this part. Oh, okay, yes, this one. Yeah, yes. I have to choose it. Yes, a family has just moved to a new city, and requires the services of both an uh, obstruction and uh, penetration. There are two easy accessible medicine clinics. Each having two uh, oh, obstructions and deep penetrations, the family will obtain maximum health insurance benefits by joining a clinic and selecting both doctors from that clinic. And how many ways can they do this? Okay. So the, first, we have to. assume some parts so we have to denote the obstruct uh, obstructs with p1 and p2 and sorry o1 o2 so this will be o1 o2 o3 and o4 and vertebrae with p1 p2 p3 p4 P five and P six respectively. Okay. Now in next part, or oh, next thing to do that, then we wish the number of pairs. Now these are basically we are basically donate donate the our system. So first set it is zero, uh, so O one, O two, O three, and O four, and for the next system it is started from P one to P six. so my and and now my uh, pair will be like o o i comma p j so this is basically o i o i basically is the uh, obstructions by o1 this is o1 o2 o3 and o4 and this is from o1 to o6 now because there are four 
uh, obstructions and and there are three choice of quadratics so n equal so n1 equals to there are basically four choice for the first case so my n1 for n for the first case is 4 so it will be noted as n1 equals to 4 and for second one there is only three choices so it will be written as n2 equals to 3 applying now applying the product rule giving that that n equals to total number equals to n1 multiplied by n2 so it will be what 4 multiplied by 3 so my total choice will be 12 possible choice okay so just i have to multiply the values of n1 and n2 and we can find the uh, of appropriate value of n form assist now this is the next topic the product rule for ordered pair mm, moving towards the example of this this part okay yes 2.19 where is the example 17 i think above one is the example that that we do Okay. Suppose the home remodeling job involves first purchasing several kitchen application appliances. They will be they, they will all be purchased from the same dealer and there are five dealers in the area. Oh yes. Now you have to let's suppose that then that you have to buy the grocery items for your kitchen okay so these are the kitchen appliances then you have to uh, uh, there is restriction what is the restriction the restriction is that you have to buy these uh, kitchen appliances for the same dealer okay and the there is the possible events or the total possible choices for the for for you is there are basically five dealers in the area okay with the dealer denoted by d1 to d5 because there are five dealers so i will denote as d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 there are how many and so it will be written as n equals to first n1 multiply n2 multiply by n3 yes so what the value of n1 is n value is 5 okay now uh, there are basically n2 and n3 basically this is the continuity of example number 17 we find n2 and n3 here so it will be 12 and 9 respectively so i have to multiply 5 with 12 and then this multiply with 9 so the answer for this one is 540 540 okay this is three tuples of the of, of the form so it will be it will be it will be like uh, di the value of n1 is denoted as di then pj okay and then qk okay so there are 540 ways to Choose first an appliance dealer, then a plumbing conductor, uh, contractor, and finally an electrical conductor. So D for what? D for dealer. Dealer for what? Dealer. There are five chances. Choices: plumbing contractor, which is known as P. So there is P, which has the N two having value twelve, and the last one is the Q, that is electrical conductor contractor having value equals to q k 
and this value will be equals to nine. And the mutual events to to basically uh, possible for a given system is equals to n n, and this n equals to smaller n one multiply n two multiply by n three. So it will be five multiply by twelve multiply by nine. So my value will be five forty for this system. Okay. Now permutation and uh, combinations. The next next topic. Okay, permutations. Moving towards the uh, example. Now the simple uh, permutation is basically n upon n minus one permut permutations. Now there are ten teaching assistants available for grading papers in a calculus course at a large university. So there are what ten teaching assistants. The first exam consists of four questions. And the professor wishes to select a different assistant to grade each question. In how many ways can the assistants be uh, assistants be chosen for grading? Here, n equals to group size equals to ten, and k equals to subset size equals to four. So we have two things to do. First, it is n. N is what group size, group size, which will be equals to 10. And second is K, which is subset, subset size. equals to four. So these are the four things. Okay. Now, so the, the number of permutations for this one, because the subset size is equals to four and the group size equals to, equals to what? Equals to 10. So my, the number of permutations will be written as will be written as p to p and there are two parameters 4 and 10 and this will be 10 permutation divided by 10 minus 4 permutation To ten permutation divided by six permutation, and this will be ten nine eight seven and six permutation divided by six permutation. So I have to cancel the six permutation with six permutation. So for this, I, my answer will be 10 multiplied by nine, multiplied by eight, multiplied by seven. So I have to use calculator to find these values. This will be, I have to use calculator. Just give me one second. Okay. So this is 10, 9, multiply by 8, multiply by 7. So the answer is 5040. So my answer is 5040. So that is the professor could have, the professor could have how many? Six zero four zero 
different four question exams without using the same assignment of the of the graders to to basically uh, uh, graders to question by which time all the all the teaching assistants would hopefully have finished their degree degree programs so this is all about the number of permutations of my system hmm. yes uh, <clears throat> yes permutation and combination move towards the next example yes example 2.22 a uh, particular iPod playlist consists 100 songs. So the number of songs it consists is 100 songs. 10 of which are by Beatless. Okay, suppose the shuffle feature is used to play the songs in random order okay the randomness of the shuffling process is investigated in does your iphone really play favorites so this is the basically used to uh, shuffle uh, used to check the randomness of the shuffling process so what is the probability that the first beatless song heard is the fifth song played oh yes so how to how to find the answer for this one so in order for this event to occur it must be it must be the case that the first four song must be played are not uh, beatless songs okay and the fifth song is the beatless song. So uh, basically there are five different options. So I have to this is basically uh, this is basically what this is basically the things that is related to beatless and beats so again in order for the events to occur it must be the case that the first four songs are played first four songs are pl played are beatless okay first four songs played are the beatless okay songs and the fifth song is by is by beatless first four are not not and the next is the uh, next is the beatless so you have to take it that this one not beatless okay the number of way to select the first five song is oh yes now there are five different one, two, three, four, and five. Now the probability for first one is 100. And the second one for what? It will be, it will be 100 minus one, that is 99. Then it is 98. Then it is ninety seven. Then it is ninety six. Okay, so the number of ways to select these five songs so that the four first four are not, and the next is is beat. So it will be ninety multiply by eighty nine. Multiply by eighty eight, multiply by eighty seven. Because why we started from ninety? Because there are difference of what? Difference of ten. 
So what does this mean that we have to neglect 100 minus 1? 100 minus 10. So my answer is 90. So it will be, then it will be multiplied with the factor. So the factor is, is what is, is 10. So it will be multiply with the 10. So this is, this is, again, this is the number of ways to select these five songs so that the first four are not white and, and the next is a B. So this will be, this will be, uh, and this will be basically um, uh, multiply, multiplying all the parameters. Give me one minute. Okay. So this is uh, first I have to, I have, uh, I must use the calculator to find the values for this one. Uh, Now I have to multiply, multiply 90, multiply with 89, then 88, then it's seven, then the value is done. Oh, this will be six, one, three, two, four, five, and six, double zero. So take a random shuffle. So the random shuffle assumption implies that the particular set of five songs from almost the hundred has the same same chance of being selected as the first five plays as does any other set of the five plays. So this is the now there therefore the design probability is the ratio of number of the outcomes from which the event of the interest occurs to the number of the possible outcomes. Again, it is the ratio of event of interest occurs to the number of possible outcomes. Okay. So event occurs are 90, 89, 88, 87 and 10 and number of possible outcomes so possible outcomes are 100 99 98 97 and 96 so this is these are the basically uh, two parameters that we will add in my formula of permutation. Okay, sir, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> then give me two minutes for water, please. Yes, sir.
Okay, sir. Let's move towards the problem. So, first thing to do that, we have to find the probability of my system. So, I, I have to write the formula again. If I have to erase it. Yes, this one. As the probability or permutation for the given system is event event of interest occurs event of interest occurs divided by number of possible outcomes number of possible possible outcomes it is the uh, events are basically 90, 89, 87, 9, 87, 88, multiply by 10. And the number of possible outcomes are 100, 99, 98, 97, 2, 96. From this, we can find the fact that it will be equal to 0 0.0679. Here is an alternative line of reasoning involved involving what involving com combination which is known as permutation so rather that focusing on selecting just the first five things link of the uh, think of a uh, playing all hundred songs in a random order so the number of ways to uh, choosing 10 of these songs to be the best without regarding to the order so it will be 100 divided by what divided by 10 so it will be 10 as just just a second just like that 100 are the total and you are choosing 10 so 100 divided by 10 in case you say that if there is not 10 if there is 20 so it will be 100 divided by 20 Now, if we choose uh, nine of the last 95, so last of nine of last 95 will be written as mm, total is 95, so it will be 95. And my choose probabilities are nine, 95 upon mm, nine. So there is only uh, one further way to uh, for these five to start with four and then follow with a B. Uh, remember that we are considering unordered subsets. Okay, this is all for all unordered subsets, not for, not for the ordered subsets. Okay, thus the probability of first B in the five songs, it will be, as I described that, it is 95 total by what? Nine divided by the 100 by 10. So I have 95 divided by nine, it is 95 is the total divided by the outcomes. Uh, my mutually outcomes are nine. Again, for the nominator, 100 by 10. So it is easier that this method is easier and the result for this is same. So 0 0.979. The result for this and the previous method, this one. For this one? Yes. 
the result is this one for this by using uh, uh, the formula of what event of this is this is again for nominated we use that the event of interest occurs divided by the number of possible outcomes so we can find that this is point zero six seven nine and by another formula of combination and permutation we find that it will be 95 for 9 into 100 upon 10 so the value is same so it depends on it totally depends on you which formula uh, you basically use uh, in your numerical okay the probability that one of the five, first five song plays is is a uh, beatless song so how to basically do it so it means that probability of first b is the first or second or third basically it is that the, the probability that one of the first five songs so, so the total are one two three four and five so how many total events there are total five events starting from one two three four five so there will be one that is basically b class so for this, we have to we have to start with one negative. So one negative means hundred minus one. Hundred minus one. So it will be. I will start from ninety nine. I will write as I will remove it. So this will be written as ninety nine by possible nine plus. Okay, just just give me one second. First, I have to write the denominator. So it will be complete by hundred by ten. Then plus next is ninety eight by nine by hundred by ten. Again, plus 97, 97, 9, this is NCR and NPR, 100 by 110. Again, plus 96, 9. Again, denominator is same. And plus, last one is. 95 9 divided by this one. So the answer for my system is 0 0.0.4162. 0 okay, this is the solution for this this one. So it is thus rather than likely that the Beatles song will be one of the first five songs played. Such a coincidence is not as surprising as might first appear to be in the case. So this will be as it is the, the probability for this one is what it is basically point zero point four one six two five one. I will minus it with one, so it will be point four one six two. It will be approximately equal to zero point five nine approximately. So the chance uh, for uh, selecting one B class from first five is 0 0.4162 and not selecting is it is zero approximately 0 0.59. This is the end of the this uh, chapter. Now moving towards the next chapter, uh, next slide. So the next, give me one minute to open the slide. It is a yes. Okay. Okay, this one. Yes. Now this is two point four, that is the conditional probability. That is conditional probability so what is conditional probability just uh, for this we have to go to numericals 
ओके एग्जाम्पल टू पॉइंट टू फोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू फोर वी नो दैट दिस विल बी इक्वल्स टू फर्स्ट थिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्पोनेंट आर असेंबल इन अ प्लांट दैट यूज टू डिफरेंट असेंबली लाइन ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग इट इज गिवन टू आस इज देर आर बेसिकली टू असेंबली लाइन let's say this is the first assembly line and this is the second assembly line the first assembly line is denoted by a and the next assembly line is denoted by a dash line a uses older equipment than a dash so this means that a a consists of older older equipment older equipment than a dash so a dash is what so it means that they, they use a new component with respect to this one so it is somewhat slower and less reliable so this a is slow and it is less reliable reliable so suppose on a given day line a has assembled eight components now the things are assembled now line a assembled eight of which two has been identified as defective okay <clears throat> so line a has assembled how much it has assembled eight out of which the two has been uh, identified as defected and six has non defected so it will be two as defected which is known as which is not as b and six non defected so it will be six b dash Where a dash has produced one defective and nine non-defective components. Okay, I will write it again. There is a assembly line, and the second is the a dash. So first thing to do is a a has produced how many components? Eight components. Okay, eight components out of which two are defected. Two are defected. I will write here B, and six are undefected. And A dash produces. A dash produces how many? It it consists of. Uh, it produces ten. Ten parts. Out of which, nine are basically. non defected and one is defected this one yes so so this is the complete as i have i i i write above that a equals this one and a dash equals this one this is summarized here that there is a line in a condition so unaware of this information the sales manager randomly select one of these 18 components now how many components are total the total are uh, 8 and 10 that is 18 component so, so what is the probability that line a component selected so it will be given as probability line line a component selected line a component selected component component selected so it will be uh, ta 
probability of A, which will be equals to N of A divided by N. So what is the total probability? So this N of A means this is basically equals to eight divided by total, total is 18. So the answer will be equal to 0 0.44. Okay, now moving towards the next one, 2.24. However, it is chosen, if, sorry, if this chosen component turns out to be defective, then the event P has occurred. This is basically given in, uh, in this statement. So the component must have been spun of the three in the B column of the table. Since these three, these three components, these three components, these three components are, are, are equally likely among themselves and after B has occurred. So things are uh, probability of probability of A probability of A with probability of B. So it will be what? It will be equal to 2 upon 18 divided by 3 upon 18. 3 upon 18. So first we have to write, just give me one second, I have skipped a step, that probability of A, A, B will be equals to, just give me, I have to write here, A or B equals to probability of A intersection B all divided by probability of B. So this will be equals to 2 upon 18 divided by 3 upon 18. After this, it is will be multiplied. So 2 upon 18 multiply by 18 upon 3. So this will be like 18 will be cancelled with this one. And my answer will be 2 upon 3. This is the required answer. Okay. Now moving towards the next one. Example 2.25. Suppose that of all the individuals buying a certain digital camera, 60% include an optional memory card in the purchase and 40% include an extra battery and 30% include both card and battery. So this is data first. I have to write it that for a memory card for memory card memory card it will be how much it is 60 percent 60 percent 60 percent and for uh, extra battery extra battery it is what it is approximately 40%. It is 40%. And for both, it is, it is uh, 30%. Okay. So consider randomly selecting a buyer and net. Let A equals to memory card purchaser. So I am letting that that a equals to a equals to memory card purchaser. 
and v equals to battery purchased so the probability of a will be probability of a will be equal 60% so it will be 0 0.60 and probability of buying battery so it will be i let it be so it will be probability of b equals to 0 0.40 now the last is the both, so it will be both is basically inter, uh, interjection. So it will be probability A interjection B interjection B will be equals to this is interjection intersection. So it will be zero point three zero. Okay. Now for the next, it is given that. The selected individual purchased an extra battery. The probability that an uh, optional card was also purchased. So this will be A or B. So for A or B, probability of A or B, my formula is probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So what will be? This will be equals to probability of A intersection B, we find that it is equal to 0 0.30. 0 0.30 divided by 0 0.40 so this is this is the the state so uh, uh, probability of a intersection b which will be equal to 0 0.30 and the probability of B, which will be equals to probability of 0 0.40. So the answer is 0 0.75 for my system. That is of all those purchasing an extra battery, 75% purchase an optional, optional memory, card, memory card. So, this will be for B that is similarly, I have to find with probability of battery with memory card. So that is B A. So it will be probability of A intersection B with probability of B probability of B. So it will be written as so the probability of A. So it will be written as uh, a intersection B will be 0 0.30 and the probability of probability of uh, A will be 0 0.60. So I have to divide both. So the answer is 0 0.50 for my this one. So as this is written as I will write here again that my formula to find the probability is for to find first probability of a or b so it will be probability a intersection b divided by probability of b and then for probability of b so the probability of yes b or a so it will be probability of A intersection B with probability of A. So my values for probability of A or B is 0 0.75 and for B A it is 0 0.50. So this value is does not equal to this one. Okay. The multiplication rule. Multiplication rule is just the uh, intersection rule that I have to intersect it. Now, this 
this is the basic formula that's why i have to write the basic formula so it will be will be intersection will be equals to intersection will be equals to probability of probability a intersection b will be equals to probability a or b with probability b okay so this can be written, uh, written as this one moving towards the uh, numerical yes 2.27 so four individuals have responded to a request by a blood bank for blood donations now none of them has uh, donated before so so their blood types are unknown suppose only type o plus is desired and only one of the four actually has this type if the potential donors are selected in random order for typing what is the probability that at least three individuals must be typed to obtain the desired results okay so let us say that b equal to first type not o dash and a second type not o dash but the probability will be three upon four so given that the first type is is not o dash two of the three individuals uh, are left out so the probability will be two upon three the multiplication rule will say that probability a into section b which will be equal to probability a or b into probability of b so probability of a or b is 2 upon 3 and probability of b is 3 upon 4 so this will be equals to uh, 3 upon this one then 2 upon 4 so the answer is 0 0.5 now again the multiplication 2 point example 2.27 the multiplication rule is the most useful when the experiment consists of several stages. The conditional event B then describes the outcome of the first stage and the outcome of the second. So it will be written as P slash B conditioning one which occurs first will often be known. So the rule is easily extended to uh, experiments involving more than two stages. For example, consider three events, A1, A2, and A3. Uh, the triple intersection of these events can be that double intersection, A intersection, A1 intersection, A2, um, bracket close, and then intersection with A3. Applying our uh, uh previous multiplication rule so it will be what it will be written as probability a one intersection a two intersection a three so how will yeah. be it it will be written as probability a three or a one intersection a two and which will be equals to what? It, it will be equals to first parameter. So this parameter is probability A1 intersection probability A3, A2. So it will be probability A1 intersection probability A2. Now, now I have known that this, this, this function or this one, this one basically equals to probability of A2 or A1 into probability of a1 so this will be written and this will be written as that my value of probability again i have to write it that the probability formula for combined that it will be equal to a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 which will equal probability a3 or a1 intersection a1 a2 and then probability a2 or a1 into probability of a1 respectively so thus the triple interaction product probability is the product of three probabilities 
and two of which are conditionals. Okay. Now, uh, Bayer's theorem. Okay, Bayer's theorem is the important theorem. Okay. An individual has three different e email accounts. Most of her message, in fact, 70% come in the account one, whereas 20% come in the account two, and the remaining 10% into account three. Of the message into account one, only 1% one are, are spam, whereas the corresponding percentages for accounts two and three are 2% and 5% respectively. What is the probability that a, that a randomly selected message is spam? Okay. So first thing is to complete it. To answer this question, let first establish some notation. AI. So what is AI? AI is um, basically uh, is equal to message is from account I for I equals to one comma two comma three and B equals to message in spam. So then the given percentage implied that P A one probability of A2 and probability of A3 is uh, 0 0.70, 0 0.20 and 0 0.10 respectively. So probability of B upon B or A1 will be uh, equals to 0 0.01, 0 0.02 and 0 0.05 respectively. Now it is simply a matter of substituting in the equation. So probability of B will be, will be equals to this one. Uh, this will be equals to this one value 0 0.01 into the probability of A that is 0 0.70 then this value 0 0.02 into this one then this value 0 0.05 into this one and then sum all the values so for this it will be written as so my total value probability of B equals to 0.016. In the long run, 1.6% of this individual message will be spam. Okay. Then there is a binary example. This is the last example. So binary channel basically. There are inputs and outputs. And then I have to go to select some parts. So this will be written as this one, one minus mu, one minus mu, AI event, the input was I, and BI basically event, the receiver output was I, okay. So input is, input is, is equally uh, likely to be zero or one, okay. So it will be zero or what so uh, again for ai even the Im input was i and for b i even the receiver uh, output was i okay so this will be written as now probability for b1 so how to find it so probability for B1 will be written as probability of B1 will be written as probability B1 this point to the probability of what this point. So it will be probability of B1 or A0 into probability of A0 plus probability of B1 or A1 with the probability of A1. So this will be equals to probability of B. The value will be what? This value will be half of, so I will write here, after elaborating, it, uh, this will be mu into one upon two, 
plus the second is one minus mu into one upon two. Then I have to uh, mu upon two plus half and minus mu upon two. This mu upon two mu upon two will be cancelled and my answer will be equals to one upon two. So applying where's rule, so this will be probability of a naught or b1 will be equals to probability of b1 or a naught into probability of a naught divided by probability of b1. So for this system, we find that the probability, this value equals to mu upon two, and this value equals to one upon two. So we'll write that, write that mu upon two into two upon this one, this equals to this one, so the answer equals to mu. So in this way, we can find that the, the by using uh, Bayer's rule, this is the, this is basically Bayer's rule, Bayer's rule is the comparison between two points, okay? In this case, it is A0 and, and B1. So this will be equals to the probability of B1 to A0 into the first parameter. The first parameter is the probability of what? A0. Then divide with the second parameter, that is probability of B1. So probability of B1, which will be equals to one upon two, so one upon two, we find from this equation. Okay, so the answer of this is this one, one upon two. And then this value separated mu upon two, mu upon two into one upon two. So this two and two will be canceled and my answer will be the answer equals to mu. So this is all about the Bayer's uh, rule, which basically again, uh, used to simulate two points. In this case, there is zero, zero, again, zero, zero, this point, and the second point is zero, one. Okay. In the in, uh, other case, it will be taken as uh, one, one, and one, zero, this point. Okay. So this is the way that we can find the values by using bears root then any question regarding no sir. Okay. No, sir. hopefully you understand and the time is up so that's it from today's lecture okay no, sir, no. okay goodbye and thank you sir okay okay welcome